Once you have your question, there are a couple basic rules to doing a good search. The first of these is always start your search by breaking your question into concepts or term groups and then combine the terms together. You'll combine them together using Boolean operators, which are AND, OR, and NOT, which I'll discuss in another video. Now take for example the question, does the practice of nurses washing their hands help to prevent hospital acquired infections? When doing a search, it's never going to be a good idea for you to try to take this entire sentence and copy and paste it into a database search box. Because if you should do so, what will happen is the database will try to search for every word in the sentence. And unless you can find an article that contains every word, you won't get anything returned in your search results. And if you do, most likely it's not going to be of much use. The reason it's good practice to break your search up into concepts is because it's going to enable you to clarify what's important about your question and therefore be more focused when you search. Take for example the question we were discussing. Does the practice of nurses washing their hands help to prevent hospital acquired infections? When looking at this question, what you need to think about is what is the most important thing I want to know? And that will help you to determine which concepts or terms are going to be the most useful to search. In this case, the two most useful terms are going to be hand washing and hospital acquired infections. Now some of you might think that nursing or nurses is a, also a valid term and it may be but it's not something you would initially want to search for because when you're searching what you're going to find is that the more terms that you combine together the fewer results you're going to get and so therefore you'll really always want to start your search slightly broad and so looking at just hand washing and hospital acquired infections is probably the best route to go. Aside from enabling you to, to do a more focused search, breaking your search up into concepts and then bringing them together will also enable you to manipulate your search more easily. Many times when we do a search, everybody is in a hurry and wants to put every term they want to search in the box. When you do this, it's kind of like chaining them together. And it may be, for example, with our question, if you did that, you may find the first link in your chain is hospital acquired infections. The second link may be nurses. And the third link may be hand washing. Well, the problem with you linking them together like this is you may find that nurses, the middle link, is uh, throwing off your search or making it too narrow. And you may want to remove it to see what's there. Well, if you link everything together, what you're going to find yourself doing is having to retype the terms in order to remove uh, the middle link, in this case, nurses. So what I would suggest is to search them separately and kind of thinking of them as building blocks. What you can do then is you may have a as hospital acquired infections, B as nurses, and C as hand washing. And you may find that if nurses doesn't work, if you search them all separately, it's going to be a lot easier for you to go in and manipulate the search and combine different terms together. Because you have to remember when you're doing a search, the combinations that you initially think are going to work as far as terms aren't always the ones um, in the long run that are actually going to turn out to be the most useful terms that you need to use when it comes to doing a search. So always think to break your search up into concepts because one, it's going to allow you to clarify what you're doing, but also it's going to make it so that you have an easier time manipulating your search to be more successful in finding what you need in order to answer your research question.